Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and today I'm bringing you um, a little pouch for my Squashies skeletons. Um, they're, a, um, they're a little uh, sort of um, sour flavoured um, squishy sweet um, that you can get in the UK. These are really popular, the Squashies, and this is their Halloween inspired um, pack and I love it. Um, I don't actually have any Halloween paper at all or any Halloween stamp sets this year. So my um, sort of challenge to myself was that I would make something to hold these little squashies in um, to gift to my uh, nieces. Um, and uh, I just wanted to be able to hand them something. I thought I could put a little tag on the back with their names and a little spooky message on. Um, and I just wanted something that I could jazz them up with rather than just handing them a pack of sweets. So this is what I designed um, and I love it absolutely and um, think it's a really cute and fun way of just, just sprucing it up a little bit. So I've used the designer series paper called Unbounded Beauty and the reason I've used this is because it's got this um, pink and orange in it and they match the... Um, the pink and orange sweets that are inside here. Uh, so I've done the first one as orange and this next one I'm going to do as pink. This is a real quick, easy project, guys, so it um, uh, shouldn't take us too long at all. Um, so this cardstock measures uh, six inches by nine inches. And for all the measurements, I will put them on my blog and the links to my blog will be below. On the long side, I'm going to score it at six and six and a half. And that's it for the scoring. And then I'm just going to burnish along the two lines like so. And then while I've got it in this way round, I'm going to get my designer series paper, which I'm just going to glue into place around here. And this measures two and a quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. So I'll just pop a little bit of my glue along the side just here. Like this. And I'll pop this down here myself a nice little border yep there we go lovely press that down so I've picked the pink and it's got a little Zeus of uh, orange in there as well so it's quite cute and then I have used these amazing dies and they are called just remind myself they are called the mini alphabet dies and they are fabulous. So basically you just put this big sheet through and it prints and it gives you all the letters and I've got loads of spare letters there. And they're going to spell out the word spooky. So I've just got some sticky notes here. I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue on there for myself and my reverse tweezers. And then I am going to start off with a Y. Don't ask me why I will start off a bit backwards. And I'm just going to just bend this a little bit, just glue my Y, get a little bit on the back, just there, take a bit off the edges, and then I'll pop my little Y in the spot that I want it. So it's going to go there. So that's my Y. My next letter is my K. So I'm just going to pop my little tweezers on it, just like this like that and then the same things apply just get a little bit of the glue on and just smoosh it off so it just picks up on the back like so and then I'll pop my K and I'm just doing it by eye it's completely up to you how you space it but this is how I'm gonna do it just pop a little O on the back Again, just move that round like that. There we go, perfect. Put my O down, just having a little look. Yeah, it's kind of straight. You could um, do it at jaunty angles as well, that wouldn't be an issue if that's what you wanted to do. So, just gonna turn my O around. And this is a great way you could actually like put somebody's name or anything like that, couldn't you? So you just pick that one up like so, there we go, and then my P is next, just like this, turn it around, 
lovely little bit on the back pop it back like so and then put that down looks like pookie and then i just got my s left which is gonna be just here lovely perfect and then i'm just going to pop that s down and that is my spooky so these are my cute sweets i'm just going to pop them in their little pouch as i'd like them to sit and then i'm going to get out my pink ribbon this time so and i'm literally just going to wrap it around like so and then i'll tie a little bow um just over in this corner like this uh, pull it quite tight to hold it in place and then put my finger there and then just make the little bow great little gifts that you can make to hand out to people and then it'd be nice if you are going to have a little party you put children's names on it or adults names uh, my husband really loves these sweets so I'm sure he'll be wanting one of these as well. And then I'm going to use these lovely gems and they are the adhesive back sparkle gems. I'm going to use the black ones because they are cute and they sort of go with the theme nicely. And I'm going to put two like that. So these are my spooky squashies treat pouches. Um, nice way to um, give a little bit of a Halloween twist. So yeah, I just thought it'd um, be a nice little way to show you how to make something themed without necessarily, uh, you know, with maybe what you've got in your scrap supply. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of the products I have actually used today, um, please do follow the links um, below. Also, if you would like to shop with me for other products or if you would like to join my team and you live within any of the countries in Europe that Stamming Up sells in, I've put links below for you as well. Okay, I'm going to say bye for now, guys, and happy crafting.